April 1st, 2022 is the day that I cannot wait for. Hi everyone, this is Dylan with Third Strike Gaming, and if you're just as excited as I am for MLB The Show 22, hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Now that we got that personal plug out of the way, let's get into it. Today we're going to be bringing you a top 10 list of features that I hope are in MLB The Show 22. This list is in no particular order, so with that out of the way, let's get into number 1. All-time teams for exhibition-like game modes. I know recently I've been watching Coogs' all-time team series for Diamond Dynasty, and as a Brewers fan, halfway through the game cycle for 21, I had started my Brewers all-time team. Thing is, is it wasn't really playable until that later half of the game cycle, which is something that if they add the all-time teams into exhibition, would scratch my the, the itch that I had for playing with all-time teams. I know the old Madden games used to have all-time or classic teams, if you want to call them that. And I know what you're saying, but Dylan, my team is missing so many key players from my franchise. Well, we'll get into that in a little bit. Number two, improvements to the hitting engine. I know how frustrating it can be to be pitching a great game, a one nothing lead, and then your opponent makes a little run just for him to hit a home run. Which, I mean, home runs happen, that's part of baseball. But then you see where the PCI was. The PCI was nowhere near that ball. How could it have left? That's why I feel that we need to do something to change this hitting engine. I know they announced a couple different features that I hope will change this. I'm just begging, begging SDS, please, no more off PCI home runs. Number three, new commentary voices. I know we all love hearing Matt Vaskersian's voice year after year, and I can tell you it has finally become annoying. No offense, Matt, we just need something new in there. We need new commentary. Something that I think they should look into is possibly getting the color commentators from the 30 teams of baseball. I feel like it could be a great addition to help spice up the game. Say you're in Diamond Dynasty or franchise mode. You're playing in a specific stadium and you start hearing the commentators from said stadium. I feel like that would just be a good way to spice it up so you're not hearing the same recycled lines from the same recycled announcers over and over again. Number four, new classic stadiums. I know this year we got the Field of Dreams added after the Field of Dreams game. I hope we can get some more classic stadiums in there. As a Brewers fan, I hope they add County Stadium which I know there's not much appealing about it, but hey, I'm a Brewers fan, you gotta give it to me. Uh, another one that I feel we should be adding is Ebbets Field, just for the factor that it played such a big part of history with it being Jackie Robinson Stadium. I feel like it's a disservice to baseball to not have Ebbets Field in MLB The Show. Last, I'm gonna say Old Tiger Park. I don't know why. I, honestly, I have no idea why. I just like the look of the stadium, and I feel like it would be a fun fun place to play in MLB The Show 22. Number five, kind of going with stadium vibe, uh, new props for the stadium creator. I know they announced that we'll now be able to play night games, so I hope they add some new props just basing it off of the night atmosphere. I feel like we could get some glow... Some uh, some glowing umbrellas or something to capitalize on the luminescence of the darkness. Being in the dark, that is. Number six, graphical improvements. I know what you're thinking. How graphically improved do you want the game before it gets to look mirror to real life? I think we're as close as we're going to get, but I feel like we could get some significant uh, updates to player emotion. Having them judge or 
having the emotion show in a clutch game, having it affect how players will react. I feel like if it's a clutch scenario, you might get a little bit of the nervous vibes, maybe adding a little shake to the PCI in a clutch scenario. Not in any ranked modes. Maybe that could be just like a franchise or a play now feature. Just something to spice it up. I know they sh were showing off the crowd quite a bit in the trailers they've released so far. I hope that maybe the crowd start doing some chants for the specific teams. Like the Braves could have the tomahawk chop going on. Maybe for the Brewers we could hear some roll out the barrel going. I just feel like it'd be some, some spice to get into it. Alright, number 7. Stability on the Switch. I know many people are worried about how the Switch platform will handle the show 22. I personally am not going to be playing on the Switch, so it doesn't affect me as much, but just so the reputation of the show can stay good. It has to run. Not I'm not going to say flawlessly for the Switch, but good enough to pass as a viable option. I know it's not going to be ranking up graphically with the Series X, Series S, or the Play PlayStation 5. But I feel that it should be able to stand up somewhat. Maybe not in the frame rates, but just to be playable. Alright, let's get into number 8. New Legends. I know everybody's favorite thing about Diamond Dynasty is getting the legends from your specific team. For me, the Brewers are missing a couple from... Uh, Especially Ryan Braun. I know he was in the show last year with his uh, second half card. I hope we can get him back since he's such a keystone part of the Brewers organization. Um, some other legends are Robert, or Roger Maris, Ichiro, Jose Bautista. Those are just some that come to my mind when I think of baseball. Number nine, new card categories. I know that the show can only have categories do you want to have before the collection becomes too much, too hard to complete. I just think we could add some something like a Hall of Fame card collection. Or if we want to get really, really spicy with it, Roids could have a card collection of players that have tested positive for steroid use. I know that will probably never happen in the show. I just think it'd be a cool collection, especially if our reward would be a Barry Bonds card. Number 10. Let's get some juicy content like they did this year, dropping the Vlad and Judge finest cards in March. I hope we keep getting more content deep into the game cycle so it does not get stale. I feel that if it gets stale, nobody's going to want to get as hyped for the next game as they are right now. I feel like it's opening people's eyes that the show is releasing new content even this late in the cycle. It's getting people back to play in the show 21, and that's just preparing people even more for the show 22. I feel like it would be a good idea just for uh, marketing. I feel like it's showing that the developers care about their product and they're not going to let it die out. All right, that was my top 10 list. Please comment down below if you guys have anything that I missed that you want to talk about. And this was Dylan with Third Strike Gaming.